Hey fellow birders, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at two different bird feeder cameras, and we're going to be doing a comparison between the two. On the left here, we have the bird feeder smart camera case from the company Wazerstein, and on the right, we have the smart bird feeder camera with battery and solar power from the seller LeFang on Amazon. Now, both of these work well. The purpose of this video isn't to say get this one versus this one or this one versus this one. It's just in case you're sitting out there thinking about buying one of these, if you want to see the differences, that's what I'm going to try and uh, showcase in this video. Let's first start with the Wazerstein on the left. This is a bird feeder smart camera case, and they basically say everything you need to know in the description. You'll notice at the bottom here it says compatible with Blink Outdoor, Ring Stick, or Waze. This case is basically a bird feeder that is designed to hold one of your existing cameras or you have to buy the camera separately. I've got the Blink XLT camera. It works perfectly fine in here. The way this is basically designed is you've got a roof that you pull off and it's on there pretty tight. You have an opening. Your camera is protected by this plastic cover. You open the back. You basically take your existing camera. You slide it into the feeder. There we go. I've got the camera in. Put the cover back on. And then when you put seed in, it can't get to the camera because there's plastic around here that keeps the camera protected. Your seed goes in the top, funnels down the sides, comes down this slope, and it ends up in this tray where the birds will sit and eat. As they eat, your camera captures, captures them. Uh, it's a pretty good design. There's a couple of things I don't like about this one. It's great if you've already got a Blink camera. Uh, if you have these cameras, you probably know this already, the Blink camera runs on two AA batteries. So if you're wanting to run it on batteries, you can put it out anywhere you want to, as long as you can get a signal to your Blink, um, what do they call it? The Blink Sync mo uh, module. The issue that I run into with running it off of batteries is even though the Blink camera's battery life is great, because you've got birds triggering this so much, and the biggest delay you can set on the Blink camera is 90 seconds, you'll run through batteries like crazy if you've got seed in here, or at least I will. You can plug in a power supply to your Blink camera so that it's running off of electricity. The negative you run into there is you have to be close enough to get an electrical supply to your Blink camera. But all in all, it works pretty well. It's got this mounting bracket on the bottom, has a single screw, and then you can mount this to a tree or to a wall, and then that's how your camera sets up. The lid goes on top, and that's how the Wazerstein bird feeder works. Now let's look at the other camera that I've got here. Again, the company is LeFang. I feel like this company did a little bit better job of this. The difference between these two is the Wazerstein will sell you an optional solar supply for your camera. So if you want to put a solar pan panel on it to help with the battery issues that I talked about earlier, you can do that, but it's rather expensive and you have to buy that separately from Wazerstein. With this company, they give you the camera and they give you built-in solar panels on top of the feeder so it will keep your battery charged in your camera. The nice thing is even if your battery goes dead, you have a cord in the back here. It's a Type-C cable. All you do is plug it into a Type-C wall outlet, charge your camera, and put it back out there. And that's something that you can't do with the Blink camera because it doesn't have a built-in battery. Uh, this one is a little bit bigger, which I actually find to be nicer because it holds more seed. The design is pretty similar. You've got a seed tray down here at the bottom. You've got this optional perch that I wish Wazerstein would have done. What's nice with this is you can catch birds as they land on the perch and then they move up to the feeder, whereas the Wazerstein, you're basically right here at your seed tray. If you don't want the perch, you can take the screw out and you can basically remove the perch completely. I'll do that real quick just to show you. So I thought that was a nice bonus. Basically what you've got here is the same thing you have with the Wazerstein. You've got your seed tray, no perch, but I like that optional perch. 
The other thing that's really nice with this model is the built-in camera is adjustable. What I run into with my Wasserstein camera is you'll notice your blink camera goes in there and there is no adjusting it. It basically fits in that slot and that's it. What happens is if the bird's over here on the end eating, I get some great video footage. If he's on the side or if he's in the tray, it usually will either cut off his head or it will cut off his body depending on the bird's angle. This camera you can adjust by simply tilting it up or tilting it down. I find the camera in here works a little bit better than the blink camera for a bird feeder. Blink camera is great if the bird is in a perfect position and it's really great for security. But from a bird feeder standpoint, I like this camera better. It does a better job of capturing the whole uh, image. And I'll show you that. I'm gonna put some examples from the blink camera on the Wazerstein and I'm gonna put some examples from this camera. The design is pretty similar. You've got a roof that you're going to open to put seed down the sides. The nice thing with this one is you notice earlier with the Wazerstein, I had to pull the whole roof off and stick it back on. This one has a simple lip on the back. You just open it, tilt it forward, put the seed in the side. The lid stays attached. Once you've got your seed in, turn it back down and that's all there is to it. You've got an antenna on the back here that you don't have on the Wazerstein because it uses the antenna to connect to your cell phone signal, connect this camera to your, I'm sorry, not your cell phone signal, your signal, your Wi-Fi. Pretty much the same as the Blink camera, but the Blink camera has that antenna built in. I should also mention I like the mounting bracket better on this model. Look at the size of this mounting bracket. Oops. Versus this one. This one is small, and if you want to adjust it, you have to undo the screw, move it, and then tighten the screw back. This one, I just think they did a better job with the hardware. You've got basically a wing nut that you can loosen once you've got it the way you want. Simply tighten the wing nut, and you've adjusted the angle of your camera. But the mounting bracket is a lot bigger and a lot sturdier. Both of them are really great purchases if you're like me. You're not at the house all the time, but you want to see what birds are coming to your bird feeder. They're both great options. I hope it gives you an idea of what the difference is between the two or what the setup is. Let's take a look at the photo or video quality between the two.